Hi people of the net, how yous all going? Me, myself, not too bad. Yeah, I'm into collecting exhaust fans, been doing it for a while, and bits and pieces to just recently I looked on Marketplace and found one that I've been looking for, and it's coming a very rare one. It's, well, bigger, over 50 years old, I reckon. It would be, I reckon, it'd be somewhere early 70s, probably late 60s era. And yeah, then when it was up for $5, I had to have it. And there was no way in the hell I was going to let it go past. So yeah, so it was an Econ exhaust fan. There's the original box that came in. I mean, it's a little bit tatty, the old box, but somehow or other, it stayed together for 50 years. So that was the box. All the brand new brackets for putting it up in the ceiling. And one screw just falling out, which is not a problem. I can put that back. It even come with the um, instructions how to put it up there and the cutout template thing on the rear of it. Which is rare, because normally, normally of that era, they're definitely long gone. And even, even the guarantee, uh, little, little, um, what do they call it, little card. The guarantee one, all the instructions and the two year warranty. Cooling fans, kitchen exhaust fans, bathroom exhaust fans, toilet exhaust fans, two year warranty. Going back 50 years ago, we were out of warranty now, which I was surprised. So now down to the main thing, the actual fan itself. There's the little baby. It's only a little 8 inch, which would be a 200mm fan. It's like brand new for 50 years old. It's never, I don't even think it's even been up in a ceiling or even installed. It weighs a ton. You would want to put it up your ceiling properly. So I guarantee if it hits you on the coconut, you will feel every syllable. <laughs> but yeah, they are so stoked to get it. And for $5, I had to have it. But anyway, I'll take the cover off of it and show you what the little alligator blades are like. They're like crocodile. Gee, imagine you get your fingers jammed in that. Mate, oh, yowch. Looks so like cute, being the little um, 8 inch. I'm so used to the big 250mm or 300mm, which, you know, got a lot bigger blades, a lot bigger diameter right around it. So that's the front, I might have showed you. That's the rear of it. Just, hang on. Just plugs into an everyday 250, uh, 240 power point here in Australia. I mean, he said 250, sorry. I've got that on the mind at the moment. So it's 240. And here's the little cover. Which says Ecom, the little badge, which is purple and black, guts and the guts of it. That's the part that faces up towards the blades. And that's the little insect collector or the fluff collector to it. And then that's the back of the casing of it. Oh, the back of the cover, I meant to say, sorry. And there's the uh, front of it. I will um, plug up the fan and show you how it's running. Oh! Oh! And they got me finger cord in it. That's with it running from the front. And that's from the back running. Gee, it's awkward to hold, but she's heavy. Only for a little baby fan. Gee, I would hate to pull out the ceiling and eat the coconut. Yowch. You feel every syllable of it. That's what it looks like running with the cover on it. And that's what it looks like from behind while it's running.
I'll unplug it for safety. Ah, come out. Thank you. But yeah, no, I've been after one for a while. I would like to try to get my hands on an email. I think they call it a DC-10, which is the big 250 model one. But I haven't been that lucky. I know there's two people here in Australia that's got one's, you know, original box like I've got with this type of setup. But yeah, I'll have to get around having a powwow with them or try to catch them up to see if they're interested in selling them or selling at least one of them for me. It'd be great. But yeah, oh, I'm pretty stoked about that. But anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. I thought I'll just show you off a quick little video why, why I had a little bit of time up my sleeve about me fan. And um, yeah, and I might have taught you some of the other ones out there that... I know, because Econ only just made desktop fans at that time, desktop or pedestal fan. But when it came to the exhaust fan, you know, era, there wasn't many, I don't think it was many. And each time I try to Google it to find out more information about it, there's, you know, it's bugger all. I don't think there's even a picture of one on the internet, to be honest with you. Because when I tried to do a bit of homework back a while ago, there was absolutely nothing, not even a picture, but you want desktop fans or um, pedestal fans, there are a dime and a dozen of them. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to let you go. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll catch you up on the next one. Okay, bye, guys. I'm the people I meant to say. Gee, even I stuffed that bit up. <laughs> That's what I said. I haven't planned this video out very good, but at least I've showed it off, made a video of it. It's showed you of it running and all that, so it's a bonus. But anyway, let you guys go. Bye.